Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are looking at another Legend League ring base because the start of the Legend League season is about to come upon us. So this one right here, I believe, is going to work pretty well for anything below the 5400 range or below uh, the top 10,000-ish. So the idea of this base is the common style of ring base where there's town halls in the middle with a large gap with no buildings around it except for the tesla farm the uh by the eagle over there and then with the buildings really close together uh on the ring on the outside of the town hall and on this time on this particular base there's two layers of those buildings and then inside the town hall compartment we have the small bombs so Small bombs are used, in this case, to take out the uh, super goblins, the sneaky goblins, because uh, three of them are able to take them out, but um, depending on how many sneaky goblins are actually in the siege barracks, or the, um, the, um, the siege blimp, the battle blimp, it depends on how, how effective they could actually still be. So if you have only five, which usually the kind of armies that we see in Legend League do have five or less sneaky goblins, and sneaky goblins in the CC, then they'll be effective in being taken out by this uh, trap setup. So if you want to use that in a couple of your own bases, if you're in your own war bases, in your own um, Legend League bases, then that is a tactic that you can definitely use in your defenses. So let's move on to the replays. We're going to be showing you four different replays, four different one stars that happened in the last two days. The stats for the space, uh, I use the space to push up from 5,000 up to 5,450 in the last week. I decided to start um, pushing again with the with a couple of my accounts, and this is the or er, and this base is one of the bases that I use on those accounts. As you can see on PR3. To push up and the result for the last two days or the last three days three ish days of everything on my world uh, defense log it was um, 22 stars five one stars and two three stars so that's pretty interesting for the 5300 to 5500 range because at that range you really want to get one star more than get three star and having only two three stars against me in uh, with a ring base like this is pretty impressive so now let's focus on the attack so this guy used a I believe that was a Yeti bit a Yeti blimp on the uh, scatter shot by the CC and that's a bit of a uh, risky play on a Legend League ring base because when you use that siege barracks or the siege machine early, then you don't have it for the town hall at a later at a later stage of the attack. So you really need a backup plan on a town hall. But without the siege blimp, without the battle blimp, you really don't have a backup plan for the town hall. Because the other plan you could have is either saving troops for the town hall or saving the RC for the town hall, which you can also do. And in order to counter that, you could do that, you could counter that by placing these skelly traps that were by the eagle on this particular base. You place those on the top side or the sides by the town hall. So like, in the one tile gap, you could place a couple of skelly traps and that would be enough to deter a couple of troops or a or a um, RC, but it wouldn't be enough to stop a Yeti blimp. So yeah, here the RC's trying to get a couple of shots off on the town hall, but doesn't quite make it. If we had a skelly trap over there, that would actually hurt her uh, quite a bit, and she wouldn't be able to get as much dam damage off on the town hall as she could have. But we're going to end the raid at around 89%. So yeah, a bunch of traps are also by the right, uh, bottom right side, because people seem to uh, end on that area. So that's quite interesting. So then you don't really have any spells for that area, except for this one guy. 
So a gentleman here decides to use a quad quake on the right side of the base. Uh, right by the two infernos, which is quite a clever idea. So being able to take out the two single inferno towers that are close to each other, and then to leave only one inferno tower for the back end of the base. So it's quite a clever idea. But again, with the siege with the siege machine on the outside of the base right away, uh, as one of the first things to drop, hurts your chances of getting that two-star secure. And that's really the, the uh, difference between the players that actually got two stars on this base and didn't. The ones that just um, decided to go for the risky play and try to get that three star uh, without any sort of any plan for the town hall other than just trying to overwhelm it with troops. So here he decides to have all the troops go in from the right side and actually using that gap by the uh, bottom right side to his advantage or trying to. But instead he runs into a bunch of traps and doesn't really have the spells or the healers. The healers really are the it, uh, the main problem with that. Is that it doesn't really have the healers in the middle to help out against the giant bombs. So that really hurt his chances quite a bit. And it results in a one star. So yeah. So I wanted to also speak about a couple of things about the channel. So in the last couple of months, I decided to spend a lot more time on schoolwork and trying to finish that up. So I have finished that up for the summer, So I have an, and I have another year left. So I've got this summer uh, set out before me, especially with what's going on right now. Don't really have anything else to do. So I'm going to try and focus on the channel quite a bit and try to get up to 50k is uh, sort of my my like lofty lofty goal for this channel for subscribers that is so we'll see if we can hit that uh, but for now really want to get to 10k and then I can hopefully be able to share um, sneak peeks for the next updates in the future so so um, that's sort of the goal here so I would like to be able to give my perspective early, uh, or have early access to that sort of data and stuff with that uh, kind of troops and stuff, with like changes to the meta game, and be able to give you my opinion on that for, for um, later on. But I'm gonna need a lot more, sub a lot more um, help with subscribers, and I'm gonna have to, of course, make videos better. Of course, that's a uh, part of it. So it's not all on you; it's all on me too. But anyway. So now we have a spammer coming in, all the way from the, from the left side instead, instead of the uh, right side this time. So two jump spells, really hoping to get some troops into that down hall, but doesn't quite make it. Gets a couple of troops in there to damage the thing, but that doesn't really help at all. It just increases the damage output, and it's going to be left with a low percentage one star this time. Uh, I forgot to mention that the CC for this base is Hound, Hound Witch, which seems to be pretty effective against these types of, uh, or in these types of bases. Even if the CC is quite exposed in, in that it's pretty vulnerable, you still have to deal with the Hound and the Witch. Although you could, um, although with a vulnerable CC like that, you might want to try a um, Hound and Ice Golem too, so that would slow down any ground troops if um, they decide not to lure it, and it would also make the queen, uh, uh, like a queen charge, like luring the CC into a queen charge, and then the queen would take a lot longer because of the Ice Golem. So two options for the space. Again with the um, again with the spamming on the top side, and this one's actually a really fast rate if I remember correctly, like a minute and 20 seconds. Just 
storming in from the top side, and then just doesn't quite get the troops into the middle. And again, with the siege barracks on the outside, it doesn't really help him getting the town hall. But I do enjoy the siege barracks quite a bit. Anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.